The first neural engine was featured in the Apple A11 chip, a piece of silicon the size of a carpenter ant that consisted of 4.3 billion transistors, capable of 600 billion operations per second. Just a few years later, in 2024, Apple released the M4 chip. It had 28 billion transistors, and its neural engine could perform 38 trillion operations per second, over 60 times more powerful. Apple knew to win at AI, the traditional computer chip had to be replaced. Your normal computer chip, the CPU, is good at complex, sequential tasks. It has a few massive, powerful cores with large caches and sophisticated control logic, all designed for low latency on a single thread. But for AI, which needs high-throughput parallel processing, it's the wrong tool for the job. The GPU was the next logical step. It was built for high-throughput parallel work, which is close to what AI needs, but its architecture is still designed for the general-purpose math of graphics, not the hyper specific relentless matrix multiplication that powers a neural network. The real problem for both is the von Neumann bottleneck. The processor and the memory are in two different places, so for every calculation, the chip has to make a slow, expensive trip to fetch data from memory and then send it back. The system spends more time stuck in this physical traffic jam than it does actually thinking. A different solution was needed. They built what's called an ASIC, an application-specific integrated circuit, a chip that was born and raised to do one single job and nothing else. And that single job is matrix multiplication. All the complexity of a neural network boils down to just one mathematical operation, repeated billions of times. The chip is packed with thousands of tiny, specialized circuits called multiply accumulate units, or max. Each one does one simple job, multiply two numbers and add them to a running total. But the real breakthrough is the architecture. It uses what's called a data flow, or systolic array design. In Instead of fetching data from memory for every single calculation, the data flows through the MAC units in a predictable, rhythmic pattern like a wave. And that is the physical solution to the von Neumann bottleneck. By making the data flow, it almost completely eliminates that memory traffic jam.